In this video we'll briefly discuss what is diphenhydramine and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Diphenhydramine is a first generation antihistamine. It competitively antagonizes histamine at the H1 receptors. It also has strong sedating and anticholinergic properties. It is available as tablets and syrup, cream in injection. It is also available in combination with a nasal decongestant and an analgesic, to relieve nasal and sinus congestion, due to common cold or allergies. And you may also find it as bedtime sleep aid. Diphenhydramine is used in the treatment of seasonal and perennial allergic rhinitis, treatment of urticaria and angioedema, Parkinson's disease and drug-induced extrapyramidal symptoms, insomnia, motion sickness, and syrup formulation can be used as an antitussive. The usual dose of diphenhydramine for adults is 25 to 50 mg every 4 to 6 hours. And for nighttime sleep aid, the usual dose for adults is 50 mg at bedtime. Side effects include, drowsiness and sedation, dry mouth and throat, nervousness, blurred vision, constipation, nausea, urinary retention, and thickened bronchial secretions. It is contraindicated in case of hypersensitivity to antihistamines, acute asthma, narrow angle glaucoma, and concurrent use of malinhibitor. Use with extreme caution in patients with active peptic ulcer, severe coronary artery disease, and symptomatic prostatic hypertrophy. And use with caution in patients with hypertension, hyperthyroidism, asthma, heart disease, diabetes, and increased intraocular pressure. Do not use in neonates or premature infants. Infants and young children are at risk for overdosage. Advise patient to avoid driving or performing other activities requiring mental alertness, or that are potentially dangerous, until response to medication is known. Use caution if used along with alcohol and other CNS depressants. Instruct patients to take sips of water frequently, or chew sugarly scum if dry mouth occurs, and to drink large quantities of water to minimize drying of secretions. Discontinue this medication, at least four days before skin testing for allergies, to avoid the possibility of false negative results. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one. And also check our recommended products in the description.